adaptation of beta water, a rare cause of severe hypertension in pregnancy. A 24-week pregnant 18-year-old woman presented to her local healthcare centre with a respiratory rate of 38, a blood pressure of 250 over 90, and a heart rate of 39 beats per minute. She collapsed and required intubation and ventilation, was treated for pulmonary edema, and then referred to our intensive care unit. On arrival, her blood pressure was still high and was similar in both arms. She had prominent neck pulsations with a thrill over the carotid arteries. She had normal radial artery pulses in both arms, but no pedal or popliteal pulses. Weak, regular femoral pulses were felt, and these varied with intensity and radiofemoral delay was noted. Chest x-ray showed an enlarged heart with early rib notching, and an ECG showed an immobile type 2 heart block for which she required pacing. After pacing, she was extubated and a CT angiography was performed. This showed severe aortic coarctation 2 cm distal to the left subclavian artery with a functional aortic interruption and an aortic isthmus of 2 mm with collateral circulation. Her blood pressure remained uncontrolled despite treatment, so we decided to dilate and stent her occlusion. The coarctation was crossed with a degree of difficulty via access from left radial and right femoral arteries. Sequential balloon dilatation was done and a stent was inserted. Postoperatively, her blood pressure decreased and a permanent pacemaker was inserted a few days later. She did well and at 36 weeks developed preeclampsia and labour needed to be induced. She delivered a healthy baby girl weighing 2 kilograms with good APGARS. Coarctation is an important cause of secondary hypertension. Treatment can be particularly challenging when managed for the first time in pregnancy.